Today, I'll be showing you how you can speed up your video conversion if you have a NVIDIA GPU. So normally when you convert a video with FFmpeg, pack, if the video is in high resolution, then it may take a long time. If you offload the video encoding to NVIDIA GPU, then it will be a lot faster than using typical processor based encoding. I'll be showing you how to do that. So first of all, you have to understand what GPU you have and does your GPU support the encoding you want to do. So for that, NVIDIA provides a website where you can see the supported encoder and decoder against each GPU. This is the page. I have already shared the link in the video description. You can check out there. Assuming you have a RTX 3060 GPU, which is a common and popular GPU in 30 series. So you can type here and press enter. Then you will see what kind of encoder it supports and what kind of encoder it doesn't. So RTX 3060, which is third here, it support most modern 4K encoding of HEVC or H265 encoder, but it doesn't support AV1. So if you want to encode a video using AV1, then you cannot leverage the NVIDIA encoder. But other than that, it will support everything. Similarly for decoding, it supports everything. By the way, you all also have to have FFmpeg installed on your PC. If you do not have FFmpeg installed, you can check out one of my video where I have shown how you can install FFmpeg on your Windows computer to convert video. It is a very easy process. It will take only a few minutes to do. So I already have FFmpeg installed on my computer and I have a NVIDIA GPU now. I'll show you how we can leverage the NVIDIA GPU to convert the video faster. For that, I have a 4K video here which is not very long, only 3 minutes 4K video. I'll convert this video with NVIDIA encoder. Now here the first command is actually using the H264 underscore NVENC means NVIDIA encoder. It is using NVIDIA's H264 encoder. So if I run this command, FFmpeg will delegate the task of encoding to NVIDIA and my GPU will do the processing. FFmpeg will not do the processing. It will pass the task to NVIDIA. Okay. So if I run the first command, video conversion will be done with NVIDIA encoder. But if I use a typical encoder, which is LeaveX264, it will be executed in typical way where uh, no GPU is used, only processor is used. So NVIDIA designed this encoder and also the GPU in such a way that we can have the maximum speed out of the GPU for this encoding. So if I run the first command, if I copy the command and go to my task manager, go to my GPU, I can see that it's already running 40%, 30% cause I'm recording the screen. If I open the terminal where the video is located and paste the command and press enter, I'll see that now my GPU is on load more than 70% cause the video conversion is using this GPU, this NVIDIA GeForce. RTX 3060 and also using the CPU along with the GPU to do the full processing. Speed here is 4x which is uh, more than average. So the video conversion is done. Now my NVIDIA GPU is back to uh, around 30% workload. Okay. Now I have the second command which is not using the GPU, which is a typical FMP command. If I run this command and go to the resource monitor, I can see that GPU is loaded as usual, the 30, the 30 to 40 percent. But my GPU, my CPU is 100 percent on load because this conversion is fully using the CPU. As you can see, the conversion is done and the CPU is uh, back to around 20 percent load. So now we have understood how we can leverage the NVIDIA GPU along with FFmpeg to do our video processing. 
and that's all if you have any confusion out of this tutorial or want to share any feedback feel free to do so i'll be happy to join with you thank you so much for watching